things that we do when we don't know words when we're reading them? What are some What are some of the things that we do? Um, read. I have a dictionary at home that I use. Absolutely, we use dictionaries. Okay, that's good. Erica. Um, I use my iPhone to look up words. Absolutely, we can use technology such as our iPhones, Dictionary.com, to discover some of the words that we don't know. Okay. Anybody else? Jeff? I usually just stop. I no, don't know. No, 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 no. We're not going to stop. You know why? Because I'm going to teach you something called context clues. And you know what? These are going to be so helpful for us to determine the meanings of words that we don't know based on the clues that authors leave behind. Okay? So let's look at this first sentence that I've designed for you guys. Professor Sanchez was incredibly slorentageritis, or troubled, with her little sister for touching her new computer. Okay, slorentageritis, hmm. Does anybody know what that means? I don't know what that means. Okay, but hold up, are we gonna give up? No, we're gonna look for evidence around the word to just help us figure out what slorentageritis means, okay? So let's look around the word. What clues do we see that could help us determine what slorentageritis means? Anybody? Hmm. Reed? Um, I think the word next to it, troubled. Okay, Reed's on to something. Troubled. Perhaps maybe slorentageritis has something to do with troubled. Okay, that's good. He's used a synonym. Okay, somebody remind me, what's a synonym? Jeff? It's like a similar meaning to the word. Absolutely, a similar word. Okay, anybody else? What else could we possibly use? Erika? Uh, well, I have a little sister, and I would be irritated if my little sister touched my computer. Absolutely, I would be irritated too. Heck, I am irritated. Okay, so Erica has used this description to help us understand what slorentageritis means. So combining what Reed and Erica said, we can determine that slorentageritis means... Irritated. Irritated. Good job. So slorentageritis, using our context clues, we've determined means irritated. Good job. Okay. Now, in groups, I want you guys to look at this next sentence that I have provided for you guys, okay? Because you guys are awesome. You guys are doing it. Okay. So let's look at this next sentence. As people were leaving the concert, there was pandemonium or craziness. Okay. So we used synonyms. And we've used descriptions or examples to help us because these context clues take the form of synonyms or descriptions and examples. Okay, so pandemonium. What can we see? What can we infer using our context clues? Looking for evidence around our word to help us understand what pandemonium means. Jeff? Well, just from going to concerts in my free time, I know that when I leave concerts, it's usually pretty chaotic, so it could mean chaos. Okay, Jeff used something meaningful. He didn't even use synonyms or descriptions. He used his background knowledge, which is very important. Okay, he's been to concerts before, and he sensed that there's some chaos. Okay, let's verify this with our context clues. Using our context clues, looking for synonyms or descriptions, what can help us understand the word pandemonium? A craziness. Read? Craziness, absolutely. Does craziness and leaving a concert resonate with you as to what pa pandemonium means? Definitely. Absolutely. And we can verify that. Pandemonium means chaos. Do we see how we use synonyms and background knowledge? Good. Good. Okay. That's really good. Okay. Now, context clues can also take the form of setting or scene. And you know how we're going to look at this? We're going to look at this through Sandra Cisneros' A Rice Sandwich. I have picked this text out for us to read. Okay? So who, who would like to start off reading? Erika? Yes! Okay, good. I want to hear your voice. Uh, the special kids, the ones who wear pizza around their necks, get to eat in the canteen. The canteen, even the name sounds important. And these kids at lunchtime go there because their mothers aren't home, or home is too far to get to. Okay, stop right there. Canteen. Based on what Sandra Cisneros has said, on the scene that she sets up, what can, we, what can you tell us about what canteen means? We're going to put canteen in our unknown box, okay? 
Canteen. What can we infer that canteen means based on what Sandra Cisneros says about the scene that she sets up? Jeff? Well, at first she says they get to eat at the canteen, and then she also says these kids go to lunch at the canteen. So if I were to look at the word canteen, I would infer it means cafeteria. Absolutely. So Jeff used context clues. He looked around based on the setting, and he identified that it meant cafeteria because kids go to eat there. They eat there when their mothers aren't home. Okay, so does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Cafeteria, that's what canteen means. But hold up, what if we look at this sentence? Parched and dying of thirst, Pedro reached for his canteen and drank water. Okay, in this sentence, we can infer that canteen means probably what? Erica? Water bottle. Water bottle, right, because this is a different context. Based on our context clues and him dying of thirst, we can infer that he's drinking from his canteen. Because if he drank from his cafeteria, would that make sense? No. Okay. So canteen, like Erika said, using context clues, means small water bottle. Very good, Erika. Does that make sense? Jeff? What kind of evidence was that? Okay. The evidence that Erika used. Erika, why don't you answer that for us? What kind of evidence did you use? Good. She used this. She used a description or example. Good. And with Sandra Cisneros, we use the scene or setting. Okay. Good. Now in your notebooks, I want each of you, using the words that we've learned today, to compose sentences based on our new vocabulary words that we've learned. You can use canteen. You can use even our made-up word of sore and tonsuritis, or maybe pandemonium. Does that sound good? Okay. Okay, so we're about to make a breakthrough. Are you ready? Okay, I've composed this song for us about our context clues. Are we ready? Okay, here we go. Stop and look at what's near. Let's get some context clues in here. Synonyms, descriptions, anything can help. So everyone, let's literally go yell. Context, context clues. clues. Read around the words to help you define. These are the clues that'll help you define. Look for something that compares and contrasts. Something must be there to help with these tasks. Stop and look at what's near. Let's get some context clues in here. Synonyms, descriptions, anything can help. So everyone let out a big old yell. Woo!